Welcome to Cache EOS. Yes, you can believe your eyes. We are installing Cache EOS today. And why? Well, I did a video on Nobara. Nobara is based on Fedora. Cache EOS is based on Arch. So I thought it might be a treat to compare the two and see how everything goes. And I'm going to use this exclusively for all my gaming needs for the next two weeks. So this is my personal physical machine running NVIDIA. And so I'm quite excited to see how it does. So stay tuned, come back because there's going to be another video soon. If I'm going to be crying into the microphone or super happy, who knows, but let's start the installer. So here we can launch the installer, but I thought it would be good to, to let you know the hardware that I'm running on. So 13th gen Intel i9 and then RTX 4090. And uh, I'm not gonna be using these displays on my computer. It's gonna be a 240, 240, 240, 240 hertz, 240 hertz, <laughs> 240 hertz, uh, different monitors. So that's not here, but at least you know, uh, if I have success, this is the, the GPU that I'm running. So let's start the installer, launch, install, install. Thank you, Grub, because I have two, three distros on this machine and win oh, Windows as well. I know, I know, but I have to, waiting for module. So is it, I don't know, East Alaska, I love that. It, for you that know, that are in the know and have been following the Ninja for a while, uh, I'm Icelandic. So, welcome in Ikashi OS, Uppsendinga Forete. Doesn't that just roll off the tongue super easy? See. You're Icelandic. So I'm going to pick English because you are going to be, you're going to have a tough time. <laughs> but that's super impressive. Good job, Cache OS team. Like that. I can see that this is a customized Calamari installer. Cool. Reykjavik. Reykjavik. That's where I am. Uh, English, default. Yeah, that's good. So definitely pick the right drive for this. I. I saw on the web page for Cache OS that it's good for new people and experienced Linux users. So I'm just going to do erase disk, ButterFS. I'm going to use that. I wonder if they allow me to create sub volumes here. No idea, but uh, let's see what's here. Oh, cool. ZFS. I have an Ubuntu server only because of ZFS support because I need it. So this is going to make me rethink that. That's amazing. So, at, and in the installer. Nice. Uh, I'm not going to encrypt anything. Let's just do next. I just want to see what happens. So I'm going to choose Plasma Desktop because I also read online that that's their kind of their best experience, I think, their flagship model. But to be honest, when I see Cosmic here, I really want to try it. But I don't want to jinx this experience with maybe having issues with Cosmic because I think it's still in alpha, maybe in beta. beta I don't know. Um, but I don't want to jinx anything and just give uh, Cache OS not a really fair run for the money. And uh, for the money, it's cheap. It's free. Uh, Cache OS packages, the hello, kernel manager, settings, wallpaper, shell. Oh, fish, seashell. Fish by the seashell, by the seashore, by the... Uh, so these are the Arch packages, base develop, yes, Bluetooth. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not pick or not dis, dis, deselect, deselect. What's going on with my mind? Where is my mind? Um, both for AMD and Intel. I only have Intel. So. This is an Intel NVIDIA machine, so it doesn't play well with Wayland, but we're going to see what happens. This is going to, that's why I have to check in on my journey. Next video is going to be either the screaming success or something else. I'm just going to do Ace, Ace, friendly name. Yeah, sure. And um, uh, sure, it's only my machine. Nobody else is here. Except my kids, and dogs, and wife, and friends. Uh, use the same sudo. Yes, that is good. Okay, let's I just I don't want to like Mess anything up. I'm just gonna do one run. Okay. I read that that looks good stunning So I'm just gonna press install and Install now 
and then we're going to be back when I've rebooted. And we are up and running. This was definitely user friendly, like the customized Calamari installer, had no issues, quiz bam boom. So I would say this is definitely good for anybody that's new and uh, not super experienced with Linux. But let's see specifically the Cache OS packages that we have. Hello. So that is this thing right here. Sorry, I was going to. Can't I hit X? Clearly not. Uh, package installer. Let's take a look at that. That's always nice for like new people to have a kind of a GUI and also just to explore options. So definitely good for me as well. So Audacity, Audacious and Duo. Du so a lot of options there. Browser, Brave Bin, Cache Browser. Don't know about that. Haven't never tried it, but I'm I'm gonna try it now. So. Sorry, cashy people, I'm new, I'm a noob, I'm just uh, seeing this with fresh eyes. Chromium, Falcon, okay, nice options. Communication, Discord, definitely gonna install that. And uh, let me see, development, games. I wonder if Steam is there. You can, of course, just search. Steam is not there, it doesn't matter. That's uh, just a Pac-Man install away. Uh, Office, video, VLC. Okay, me likey likey so far. Let's check out, oh, remember when I was installing terminal? Okay, it runs FastFetch, NeoFetch, uh, FastFetch, I think NeoFetch is just old. Um, anyways, uh, DFTH and uh, yeah, Butterfest created the sub volumes that I was thinking about where the installer created it. So that is nice, especially for new people. They don't have to worry about like which sub volumes do I create, uh, and it just created it automatically. It didn't ask me about anything. Nvidia SMI, yes, it's up and running. I didn't have to do anything. Uh, that is like uh, big props to the Cache OS team. Let's check out what Cache OS is really about. Let's have the talk. The talk is needed. Why choose Cache OS over the plethora? of other Arch-based distros out there, or even just vanilla Arch. And so from what I've gathered, I'm reading from the page, so I'm learning as I go. This is super fresh. You get this cutting edge Linux performance with Cache OS because of the optimized Linux Cache OS kernel that you don't get from a vanilla Arch or other Arch-based distros. So that's super nice. The Bohr scheduler is uh, the primary reason for this unparalleled performance. And I'm, I'm really excited to see if that's the case and check out, like run my games and uh, see if there's actually a difference. And so uh, the Bohr scheduler for better interactivity offers a, I think the Bohr scheduler has this kind of a burstiness metric in it um, to dynamically adjust uh, task scheduling and stuff like that. So. Uh, this is all about my pay grade. I'm just learning about uh, all of this right now. So this is all really exciting for me because I'm going to go now install Steam, play a few games, check out the metrics, see if Boar is really handling his business. And then I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. Click, like, and subscribe and all that jazz because I'm going to come back and tell you about my gaming. And I'm going to show you as well a few games. It's just full of my favorites. And so until next time, peace out.